So De Moivre's theorem gives you a way of being able to find the double angle, triple angle formulae, etc., um, in a relatively straightforward way. Um, so I'm going to introduce the kind of concept here, and then the next few videos are going to be going through examples of doing that. So let's say you've got cosine n theta plus i sine n theta. Okay, we know that. Okay, now we know that that is equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta to the power of n. Okay, so that is De Moivre's theorem after all. So the idea would be that if you wanted, let's say, cosine of 5 theta, okay, and you wanted to work out what that was in terms of just cosine theta, then the cosine n theta is the real part of the left-hand side, which must be the same as the real part of the right-hand side. Okay? So that must mean that cosine of 5 theta must be the same as the real part of cosine theta plus i sine theta to the power of 5. Okay? So if I could work out that and expand that out and just take the real part, then that will be my cosine 5 theta. Now, I might, may well get some sine thetas in there, um, which hopefully I can replace. So if I get a sine squared, I can replace it with 1 minus cosine squared, for example. OK? Likewise, if I wanted to work out sine of uh, 6 theta, then that is the imaginary part of the left-hand side of this. And so I could work out the imaginary part of cosine theta plus i sine theta to the 6. Now I'm going to have to expand these using binomial expansion, okay, which will save a bit of time. Um, but this is going to be the method that I can use, um, what well, I can do using De Moivre's theorem to get there. And I'm going to go through some examples of that in the next few videos.